Welcome to WP Mat. This video is going to be about the page list widget of the Elementscape plugin. It's a kind of widget that offers you lots of features, lots of controls and opportunity that will blow up your mind and you might never ever have seen this kind of feature before. First of all, let me walk you through some of the ready-made demos of this widget. Navigate to Elements Kit landing page, then go to Elements Demo. From here, go to the page list. Now inside of this page list widget, if you scroll down, you'll see our demos. This is a kind of page list widget where you can apply fill icon, text and also the label. The next one is a quite a bit simple one. If you like the minimal design, this is for you. And next one is a kind of icon box style with description. And if you see the next demo, you'll understand how versatile the page list widget. Here you can add icon, different color for individual items, title, custom title and also description. If you like any of this demo, you can directly import it into your website using your layout kit feature. Now it's time to show you the controls of the page list widget. Go ahead and open up any page with Elementor Page Builder, then from the widget panel, search page list. You'll find a page list widget with eKit badge. Drag in the widget on your page. Now in the left side, you'll find all the controls to work with it. Now they'll have mainly two options inside of Content tab. The first one is the list where you have to add your pages and the second one where you have to work with the layout and a bit of styling. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll click add item and then we have our first list and in here we'll take our first page from the drop down you can see all of your pages. So these are the pages that you have already created into your dashboard so you just have to select any of them. For now I would like to choose Google Map and there is a default page name but you can give your own custom name for the for this page so what you will do i will write here map and you can also add a subtitle i would like to use the subtitle get direction and the background type i would like to choose red okay it's going to be a bit of red color okay so it's just for the testing purpose and then you have the show icon option enable it and choose the icon i like to choose a map icon i guess this one will be perfect All right then you have also options to choose this icon color and i want to choose the icon color white completely white okay and then you have also options to show the label Enable the label and the label title I want to use hot, okay? And the background color I would like to use is completely white and the text color I would like to use red. Alright, so these are the settings that you need to know in order to create a page list, okay? And in order to add another one, just following the similar way you need to click add item. But for now, I want to duplicate the first one. So I'll duplicate the first one and I'll change the text name. I would like to use two here and I'll also duplicate this one. This is the third one. I would like to use three. And this is how I want to add more of this by duplicating. All right, I guess this is enough. Now let me show you what we have inside of the settings. There the first control we have is the layout and then you have target and the rel. So inside of this layout you can select the default which is the list style for now and you can also use inline style. So let's go to the inline style and then you have another input box which is the column grid. Uh, they will have up to six column. For now I would like to use three columns. Now all of our list item is presenting or displaying in three columns. Now made a bit of a spacing among these items. In order to do it you need to go styles and inside of this style tab, you'll find all the options to work with the colors, typography, font size, icon size, whatever you want to use, okay? So inside of this list tab, uh, there we have the padding option, margin option, and the border option. So let's use margin 15 pixel from all side, okay? Now go to the padding and make the padding top 10 pixel, padding bottom 10 pixel, padding left 40 pixel, padding right 40 pixel. 
All right, now go to border radius and make the border radius 30 pixel. All right, now if you want to use a different color for individual items, then go to content. As an example, I want to change the color in the map too. So I'll go here and there you have the background option. From here, I can choose another color. Let's use blue color for this one. Now go to styles. There you can also work with the box shadow, background type, hover color, alignment, divide and so on. Let's use the alignment center. I go to icons and increase the icon size. After that, you have the option to work with the icon alignment, background type, icon, icon hover and margin. Now let's choose an icon background color. I'll choose kind of black color from here. And they'll have another three options, which is width, height and the line height. I'll use the width 50 pixel, height 50 pixel and the line height around 45 pixel. Use the border radius 50% to make it round. Now go to text and change the text color white. Now go to subtitle and change the color completely white. It can also work with the hover color padding. If you go to label, there you have the options to work with the margin, padding, border radius and some other controls like horizontal alignment, vertical alignment. Now these controls are very easy to understand and easy to work with. We want you to explore all of them. Thank you for watching this video.